listen to me. What many people don't understand is you can have one million people in church and all they are there for is just to see which miracle will happen on Sunday. How is the pastor going to prophesy this Sunday? What is he going to say? Who is he going to prophesy to? They are not interested in God's word. They are not interested in growth. They are not interested even in your ministry. They are not even interested in being of great impact to your ministry. So it is not by the crowd. You can have a ministry by God's grace where God is raw, where God is real in church. And you have just members of 200, 500, and those members believe in your vision. They believe in the mandate that God has given to you. They believe in your anointing. They believe in the grace that you carry. Then you begin to see signs and wonders. It's not by the crowd. Jesus came to his hometown and could not perform any miracle. Why? Because though they were crowd, they, they, they were crowd there, but he could not perform. Why? Because the crowd did not believe in what he carried. The crowd did not believe in what Jesus was carrying. They did not believe in his anointing, so he could not perform. It's not by crowd. Be where God has called you to be. When you, when you maintain your spiritual integrity and be in the place of your calling, you discover that making impact becomes easy. You can just have 500 people in church, 1,000 people in church, and those people believe in the mandate that God has given to you. They support the vision. They give crazily for the work of the Lord. They know that, yes, this, this is our Papa. This is our man of God. And they, 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 you find that as such people, they love you. They support you. They believe in the mandate. You begin to make impact globally. It's not by the crowd. It's not by the crowd. God can do what he wants to do, even from wherever you are. You can be in the desert, and God is changing lives all over the world through that desert, from that desert. Listen to me, it is time that we set our heart. Another reason why many ministers struggle in ministry is because God did not call them. They are the one that called God. God did not call them. They ran into ministry because of the fame, because of their money, because of what they saw. They want to be called daddy. They want to be called mommy. They want to be called Jew. They want to, they want to have such name. They want to have fame. They want to be collecting offerings and tithe. Listen to me. Ministry is not by force. Ministry is not by force. If you can't do ministry, go to business.